Hi, welcome to the Quinta and today we are pruning olive trees and uh, as usual we've got some help which is brilliant. So I'm just coming round and I'm taking off the uh, suckers and the growth that's in the wrong place and uh, jolly good fun with some of these pussycats. Don't want to prune them. neighbor Luca brought us some beautiful bolitas mushrooms so sliced up and they're drying nicely over the fire look at that isn't that wonderful so that'll be a nice addition to some stews going forward Oof, don't want to break them up too much lovely I do find the axe is a brilliant thing for this job because you can clear up afterwards if you make a bit of a mess. It's better to do it like that than it is to leave a stalk. And really what I'm doing is I'm coming around and I'm getting rid of all these suckers because they're taking energy away from the tree. And obviously if you're going to put a net down to try and collect olives it's harder to do it with stuff around you this is not useful no it's not what are you doing what are you doing you spiky little rat bag all right you spike each other not me <clears throat> Here where the kittens aren't. You can see these aren't going to get much light, so we'll have all of them off. just where I don't need a pussycat. Well, some of these trees are a little bit neglected at the moment and we've got a, some dead branches it's just not doing anything there so I'm gonna later on come and sort those out. Um, hello Hornet, Vespa Velutina again. Someone asked me in the, the last video I put up about the uh, the bees and uh, the fact that they are being attacked by the Asian hornet asked me whether I kill the hornets and uh, the answer to that is no um, they are not aggressive towards people um, and invasive species or not they are part of the ecosystem and there's also the uh, rather clear and present danger if you are trying to kill a hornet then it might well just defend itself and I don't really want to get stung um, so yeah it's a tricky one um, I have reported to the ICNF uh, that we have on the land uh, hornets um, but I haven't found their nest yet and of course, if I do find the nest, I am going to be obliged to uh, tell the authorities and uh, they will come out and destroy it. Um, you know, the simple fact is that everybody that we know around here who has got bees has got um, Asian hornets as well. So I'm thinking about solutions. Um, 
we could move the chickens up there. Chickens will apparently uh, take the hornets on the wing. Um, I'm also thinking whether I can put some wire mesh around the hive and uh, see whether that just allows the bees to get through, but not the hornets who are just that bit bigger. Um, so yeah, a little update for you on that. distraction. So yeah we're into the end of September now. Um, amazing how quickly the uh, summer goes but it's still quite warm. I think uh, we're scheduled 27 degrees this week. Um, so we tend to work in the mornings and uh, get up relatively early when it's hot because uh, in the afternoon it's just that little bit too sweaty. Um, yeah, what other news have we got? We had uh, Zoe come over and visit which was absolutely lovely and um, we went to the uh, river and they had the last swim of the year. That's what happens when you come swimming out of season. Oh yuck. Watch out for underwater obstructions. Oof. Don't know how you can do that. Freezing. Yes. Come on. Three, two, one. I think that counts as falling off, yeah? <laughs> Go away, fly. Right, let's try and open up the center of this tree a bit. Sometimes it's quite difficult to get the axe in. Ah, there we go. Flies today are being particularly annoying because they come and land in your ears. And that is really unpleasant. <laughs> So I don't want the ones growing into the centre, I'm sure you know probably more about growing and pruning fruit trees than I do, but you're trying to keep the centre nice and free so that uh, it gets sunshine and uh, you get a good crop. Olives grow on second year growth, so you do need to do the pruning. And as I say, these ones have been a little bit neglected. Uh, I think I'm going to leave this one to come out a bit. Let's clear it up a little bit though. Maybe not. There we go, that sometimes happens. All the best laid plans of mice and men, eh? Well, I didn't get you, Pussy Cat. I got me. Just nicked myself with the uh, blade. You do need a really nice sharp uh, axe, and actually, that goes for pretty much all tools, the sharper the better. You should not uh, be an idiot like me and not wear gloves. Lots and lots of 
mushrooms coming up now. Let's cut this very gently in half. We'll have a look and see what's in the middle. Look at that. Not an edible one. It's a puffball. Obviously I'm going to go and clean my axe before I do anything else with it. It's fascinating, isn't it, to see it laid out. <laughs> yes, so in other news, we uh, moved the truck. It had been sat by the side of the road for far too long, so we had taken it down to our garage and with any luck we'll be getting that on the road. That'll be a bonus. Hello doodle dog. Hello. You're beautiful, aren't you? You're gonna come and say hello. You hello. You've got good guard dogs looking after it, haven't we? Yes we have. <laughs> right, let's go and have some lunch. And we have ordered an awful lot of roofing material, insulation made of cork, OSB, and we've got to get some wood because very soon we're going to need to start working on the roof. Would be better to have done it already, but um, you know, that's about a third of the olive trees had their suckers off. And maybe you can see down the road. I actually spent a day with their lovely neighbours and their tractor filling in all the holes. For those of you that are interested in the uh, beekeeping videos, I've actually put them in a playlist uh, all of their own, so I'm not going to feature them as uh, videos necessarily sort of highlighted ones um, But if you go to the uh, main page and scroll down, that's where you'll find them all It's a hummingbird hawk moth <laughs> Yeah, so I cut this little one right down to its stump last year because it was uh, it was diseased it had got burnt in the uh, fire and uh, was pretty badly damaged and just look at this lovely growth that's come back just in you know one season so what i'm going to do i'm going to go through it and i'm going to take off anything that is a bit whippy give it a little bit more energy to put into these ones here Definitely want to keep this part here and actually this one here as well maybe. So I'm just going to shorten that one, get it out of the way and come and go through it and clean it up a bit. So that will probably do and I'll come back and have another look next year and meanwhile just up here you can see where you've got the one on the end there it's not doing very well and because uh, olive is such absolutely brilliant firewood um, I'm not feeling too bad but we're going to get a bit extra there it uh, burns for a very very long time it burns slowly and it's fantastic because you can keep the fire in overnight so let's get the chainsaw up there. Put up these two lovely suckers here. So I'm going to leave them. And what I'm going to do, I shall take the uh, trunk off around about there and give it a good chance to start again. As you can see, it's not the best looking tree. So I don't feel too bad. <laughs> Yes, nearly lost the chainsaw. Right, I'll tidy this up. I'm going to. Uh, you cut it here? Yeah, I cut it there. Yeah, a lot easier. So it's got a beautiful grain olive, 
and uh, it smells absolutely wonderful when you're cutting it. But that should regenerate. You can see we've actually got uh, things coming out the side here. And if it doesn't, we've got the shoots that'll take off. So, time to be splitting some logs, I think. Oh, that's really hard to cut. Mm, look at all these lovely olives. Right, that's most of the wood chops. There's still a big knotty log which uh, I don't fancy tackling just at the moment because I'm absolutely boiling. And I think that I will probably wrap this video up here, but just before I do, I want to show you what I'm going to do next. Probably see where, where I'm standing. This tree is extremely high and we've got these shoots that are going vertically. Now, that is asking the tree to send all the uh, goodness up to the top of it. And um, that also makes it extremely difficult to harvest any olives. So I need to be coming around and removing some of those. And uh, likewise with this one, this whole uh, side isn't in great nick. So we're gonna be reducing and taking off these bits, probably here. And uh, then we'll see whether it regenerates. If it doesn't, then at some stage, I'll come and take it off there and it'll probably sprout out. Anyway, thank you very much indeed for uh, coming along on this journey. Hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, please do share and uh, do the old like and subscribe stuff. Have an absolutely brilliant day, whatever you're doing. Come on, Keith. What are you doing? You're not going to come after me, I hope. Go after you, wouldn't he? I see. That's where you all got to. Pussycats. And if you're watching this, you've made it right to the end of the video, so thank you so much. Um, I'd just ask one little favour. Share this video with one of your friends. Have a fantastic day.